welcome back to Smile with Hower. I'm Hower and today I'm going to be talking to you about my journey at Chingford Mount Dental Practice. So I worked at Chingford Mount Dental Practice since 2014. I started off there as a dental nurse doing an apprenticeship. I um, was studying one day a week and working at Chingford Mount Dental Practice. In my first two weeks I was not great. I was not good. <laughs> and this was a no-nonsense environment. They had really high standards and they really wanted all their staff to be on the same level. And so I started off as an apprenticeship um, dental nurse, not having a clue about dentistry. It was quite difficult at first. Um, by the time it got to my third, fourth week, I started to make a bit of progress, but still not quite there yet. It was such a supportive environment in terms of um, reflection, in terms of showing me the road, showing me everything in regards to dentistry and teaching me and having the patients, including the dentists, so as well as the dental nurse, the whole team. There's a really great team working environment there as well. And so I was able to pick up um, all the learning in regards to dental nursing and start working with all the different dentists, um, helping out with the specialists, and then learn reception and started working on reception, started doing cashing up and shutting down the day and starting up the day. So if you think about where I started off, which is like not having a clue at all, to by the time it was like six months into being a dental nurse, I had pretty much learned so much about how the practice was run and that couldn't have been possible if the environment wasn't great and conducive for learning. Um, and also they have high standards for their patients as well. So the environment is always super clean. They're always really friendly. Um, you meet very friendly faces at front desk. It's a very nice place to work, but it's also a good place for patients because things are done well. Um, so I went off to uni and when I was going off to uni I got full support from all the dentists and I also got support from the principal dentist Dr Gogman who did my reference and then I went off to study dental hygiene and therapy. Because I worked as a dental nurse and did that apprenticeship there I got to have a full overview of what different dentists did. I got to see newly qualified dentists working, I got to see dentists who had been practicing for years, I got to see dentists who specialised in orthodontics, implants, I got to see everything and then that allowed me to make more informed decision as to what I was going to go to uni and study and I chose dental therapy, I felt like that suited me more and so they were very supportive and I went off to Eton Dental Hospital and studied um, dental therapy. And while I was studying, I was actually still working as a dental nurse. I was going back and forth helping um, during times where I wasn't in school or if um, it was like a Sunday, I would help out and do some dental nursing with them. So it was very helpful to get extra cash as well while being a student. Um, and then once I finished, I started to work at Chicken Mount as a dental hygienist on Saturdays doing a half day. And it was great because as soon as I came out, obviously, as a new hygienist, you're not going to be able to, you know, pick up things as quickly. So they really made that environment easy for me in the way they booked patients, talked me through everything. It really gave me a good um, start. So I've been working there now as a dental hygienist for close to three years. And this vlog is actually showing me leaving because I'm now pursuing other business ventures. But this vlog is kind of like a bit of um, showing you what I do in a day on a Saturday and showing you a little bit about the practice. But if you'd like to know more, the link is down in the description box. Good morning! Oh, sorry. Good morning, guys. So today you're coming with me to work. Uh, so this is actually my last day at this practice. So I just wanted to bring you guys along with me so you can see what a day or half a day is like. Good morning, Helen. Good morning, Helen. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> it's fun vlogging today, isn't it? <laughs> Yes, we're vlogging today. Yay! It's gonna be fun. 
we'll see how it goes. So this is my room. So I'm just going to get ready for the day, but I'm going to go upstairs and get changed. So I just dropped like my box and switch on the computer. And then yeah. Hi. I don't know why on earth I chose to wore this. It's absolutely boring it. So I'm just gonna get changed into my scrubs and then we're gonna go downstairs and set up and get ready for the day. Set up my trays, got my instruments. I'm just doing a little bit of. I'm just doing my notes and just. I'm just having a look through. Um, reading through the patient's notes to kind of get prepared for the day. So I'm working today from 9.30 to 4.30, so patients nearly do. Okay, I'll get her in a second, I'll just put this up. You know I can get those um plastic aprons? I think it should be here. Is it covered yet? I'm absolutely knackered now. I'm just doing the daily surgery checklist, which looks something like this. So it's like a book where you just checklist to make sure you've done all the like cleaning, drawing, um, clinical session beforehand, and to, yeah, just a bunch of things anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit of paper. I'm gonna go upstairs and sip some, have something to drink because <laughs> I am feeling it. Usually after work, yeah, I look a mess. I can take this off a little bit now. Um, so it's a really, really, it's a busy day. I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually running off my feet. I can tell you that much. Um, I'm just going to do my neck now, and then I'm going to get the next patient in. <laughs> We're getting there. Thanks for watching. Day, day, day,